All right, guys, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I personally pluck my eyebrows. Now, I always get lots of questions as to how I keep my brows looking so fresh. Half of the time, they don't look fresh, okay? It's because I don't zoom you guys in, but right now my bigotazo is hella long and a bitch is looking like cantinflas. I swear, once I zoom you guys in, you guys are literally gonna be able to see my bigote is growing out, like it's starting to curl. It's so disgusting. Um, I've been really wrapped up this week with the baby, so I've just been putting work on hold. And then also with everything that's been happening with Mexico, if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I started a GoFundMe and we have raised over $36,000 within two days. The fundraiser will be ending on Monday and I will continuously update you guys on my Instagram because right now there's just a lot of drama going on about how people think that I'm going to keep the money and how Topos isn't the right organization to send it to. So I have a few days to continue to do my research, you guys. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to donate the money to a organization that's not going to donate the money to the people who are in need in Mexico. Please excuse my eyelashes. I am overdue for a lash fill, which is why I only have like three to four pelos colgando right now, but they still make a difference. I think they make me look cute fresh. So I'm very aware of that. You guys don't have to let me know. I know. So the tools you will be needing today are three fairly simple tools. Can you guys hear that music in the background? It's the baby's classical music. I look hella crazy right now. <laughs> First and foremost, you are going to need a little spoolie. You can use a mascara wand that's dry as fuck. You can wash off the mascara if you want. Or you can just go to Sally's and pick some of these up because these do come in a pack of about 20. And you really want to make sure that every hair is combed so that way you're able to see what hairs you are going to pluck out. You are also going to need some little hair scissors. These are very, very important. And make sure they are very sharp because if they are not sharp and brand new, your brows are just not gonna come out as sharp as you want them to. And you are also going to need a pair of tweezers. These are my personal favorite. I really, really enjoy using the Revlon ones because they're cheaper. And I just feel like these work really, really well. Well, I've tried tweezer man and I've tried lots of other tweezers and these are the ones that I always go back to These aren't the best, but they get the job done and it works for me We're gonna start off by plucking the hairs underneath here. You want to work your way To the brow like don't just start plucking here and then start plucking here and then start plucking here We're gonna do sections of the brows at a time I feel like I can do here, 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 here. But when you're first starting to learn how to do your brows, I would not recommend that. I really hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, you don't want to over pluck. Start plucking out at the bottom. And you know what's funny is like people are letting their brows grow out because I don't know, somebody fucked up their brows. They'll literally let their whole brow grow out. And I'm like, homegirl, like you can pluck the bottom hairs right here because your brow is not going to be this thick so it's okay to pluck out down here um, just to kind of keep your face a little bit clean so when you put on your makeup you don't look atascada and weird start off with the hairs at the bottom and then i will explain what to do once you get you know a little bit closer the reason why i like to use these tweezers is because since I'm tweezing out tiny little hairs, if I use the ones that are pointed tip, because these are kind of round at the tip. I don't know if you guys can see, hold on. So you see how these are rounded? There are some tweezers that are actually just straight across. You see how these have a little dent right here? And I feel like the ones that are just really thin at the tip, I tend to grab my skin a lot with that. And I don't know if you guys have ever experienced what it feels like to have your skin pinched from tweezers. It hurts like a bitch. So this one just helps me. And then if you feel like you have lots of hairs that are getting stuck to your face, you can just go back in with the spoolie. Typically to pluck out my eyebrows, it takes about 20 minutes with the bigotazo. But since I'm explaining everything right now, it probably gonna take a little longer. 
And I would recommend to do this out in the sunlight because when you do this out in the sunlight, you're able to, you're able to see every single little hair. So now when I start to do up here, I start to raise my brow so that way the hair is like lifted upward. So I'm just able to just pluck out from right here. And this is where you gotta be careful because you can pinch your skin. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go closer to the brow. Now I personally like a very square brow right here. So I'm going to be plucking sideways this way. I'm not going to grab the tweezers this and then just pluck out random hairs upward like this because that's what's going to give you that messed up eyebrow look. If you pluck out one wrong hair, it's going to mess up your brow. So please keep in mind that when you pluck out from the bottom, you want to pluck out this way so you follow the shape of your brow. And then from there you can back up the mirror so you're able to see a full face look rather than just up close. I'm on the lookout for some really good tweezers so if you guys know of any, hit me up. So you see how this shape over here is just nice and sharp compared to over here. Obviously, I do my best to try to keep my eyebrow shape, so it's not really gonna make a huge difference. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the front of the brow and just pluck out any random ass hairs. And even if you feel like you don't have hairs up here, you do. So just keep plucking until you feel some type of pain. In between, plucking out the hair you want to make sure that you clean off the tweezers because after you've been plucking for a while you have hairs that are colectados right here and it gets difficult to pluck out more hair and then also come out here too you can also pluck up here even if you feel like there's no hair it's tiny little vellitos but it makes such a difference when you clean everything up. And for this, I like to pluck upward because I feel like I grab more little hairs when I do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other brow, but you guys can totally see the difference. This is the groomed side, and then this is the non-groomed. Comb this upward like so. And then when you comb it upward like that, you already have the hairs coming up. So what you're going to do is snip here very straight across and this is why you need your scissors to be very sharp i'm going to grab the spoolie and if you push upward you see all those hairs that's what we're going to snip off everything and especially if you like to use pomades or if you like to use gels this is perfect sometimes i actually like to over trim the brows because like I said, if you do makeup, your brows just come out so much prettier, honestly. So if you feel like you overcut them, girl, don't even trip. Just do your makeup the next day. Brows tend to grow out super fast. And then you could also comb downward. So when you comb downward, you're able to get a different angle. Can you guys see that hair? And you're just going to snip that shit. When you are trimming your brows, you have to keep in mind that the more you comb upward, the more hairs you are going to trim. So if you just want a light trim, what you can do is just comb upward a little bit. Don't do it so much because you can over trim your brows. And like, I actually think I over trim this side. Pero no te me this because all you have to do is fill them in. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I did. I did over trim this side. So now I'm going to have to over trim the other side too. If you guys have the problem where you're actually filling in your eyebrows and your eyebrows are just too thick that the gel or whatever product you're using just looks super dark on your brows. If you trim your brows all the way Dude, when you put on your pomade, your brows are going to look so fucking bomb because you're actually going to have space and you're not, your hair is not going to be so thick. So if you have bushy brows, that's something to really take into consideration. Now for the mustache part, this hurts like a bitch. So just brace yourself before you start. 
There's no way around it. You can take a Tylenol before you start. Mm, just depends. Now, I don't really like to talk during this part because it really does hurt. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start in the middle part right here because this is the section that hurts the most. And I do like this. So that way I'm able to grab all the hair. I'm gonna pluck and I'm gonna pluck upward this way because the hair grows down this way. You wanna kind of pluck against it. So that way I'm able to get lots of hairs at a faster rate rather than just pluck. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do it. Oh, it hurts the worst right here at the edge of the mouth. And I actually have to go thread my whole face because I grow hair everywhere. Okay, now that the middle section is done, I'm going to go ahead and start working my way over to this side. Because when you start off in the middle, that's the hardest part because that's the part that hurts. And once you get the part that hurts the most out of the way, everything else is a breeze. I don't know if you guys can see the difference between this side that has no hair and the side that actually does have hair. I don't know if it's because I wear makeup and then when I put on makeup, aquí se ve todo peludo. Like the makeup goes on top of the little vellitos and then the vellitos just are covered in makeup. I don't know. That's just how I is. And just when you think you're done, you're not. Always make sure that the edge of the mouth has no more hair at all. Because sometimes you have those little hairs that just like to creep up later. You know what's funny is that the reason why I started plucking my own eyebrows was for one, because the girl kept messing them up and for two, because I couldn't afford to keep getting my brows done as well as my lip every single time because I used to get my eyebrows done at House of Beauty in Riverside. It's literally off Chicago. I think it's Chicago University because I remember the brows used to cost $8 and then the lip used to cost $5. I don't know if they raised their prices and they used to charge $12. The point is, I wasn't able to afford that back then, so that's one of that was one of my motives to learn how to do my own eyebrows and it helped. If you feel like you can't afford to go get your brows done, this is a great alternative. It doesn't cost much, but just to buy the supplies and the supplies, if you take care of them, they're going to last you for about a year. So now I feel like I'm ready to apply my makeup. My face looks hella fresh, brows on fleek. So this is what the brows and the mustache look like when they are completely groomed. They're not 100% perfect because it's kind of difficult filming and then, you know, plucking my eyebrows. That completes this video, you guys. I really hope that you now know how to do your eyebrows and I promise you that you're gonna save money on this. So you can save that money and buy something else that's worth buying. Not that I'm saying that it's not worth going to get your eyebrows done, but if you can learn how to do it yourself, why wouldn't you? You just need three tools and again, just please be careful with the snipping of the brows because I feel like that's the part where you can fuck up the most. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Keep up with me on Snapchat because that's where I'll be at or whatever.